hope this video helps and um, hope this video uh, What's up guys, Steven Ducks here. Welcome to the new YouTube video. Today we're gonna to talk about some long strategies that a lot of people are asking about and they're requesting these videos. Well, Ducks, what kind of uh, long strategies do you wanna focus on and what should I do when I have a small account? Throughout the couple of years, I found about like three or four long strategies and other than that, there's not that much long strategies around. Start with the first one. So first one will be OTC multi-month or multi-week breakout for the stock to keep consistent trending and the volume is to be in okay. and if you are buying the breakout level it typically takes about three to four days to for the stock to go up about 30 60 percent sometimes even 100 percent but all those trades they don't really happen often really anymore otc pumps doesn't really exist anymore so that kind of sector kind of died off but every now often they happen about i would say 10 times a year and they all have that OTC hype and they bring a lot of sympathy plays and everything started multi-month breakout uh, like the Bitcoin last year back in uh, 2016. So that's the first long patterns we have been experiencing. The second pattern will be dip buying huge market cap when they instant pull about 30 to 50%. Typically we can see about uh, 10 times a year, uh, something like IGC, MBEV, once you can find a solid support or uh, the most consolidating area, you can dip back from there. They typically bounce back to uh, from 20 to 30% and get a really short amount of time. So that's really, really stable pattern. It's been in the market for a while and it's really repeatable. So I think there will be a really good opportunities for small account to focus on that kind of strategy and to slowly grow your account. It's not going to be that fast, but it's very steady. And the third, a pattern will be a uh, crowded trade. Now, that's been happening recently a lot of the time because in the market, I think there's more and more people getting into the sector and the stock is trading 30 million, 50 million shares, 60 million shares a day. And it's doing that a lot more often every single month. Like we can see about 50 tickers that trades 50 million or above uh, shares per day. So now, think about there's 90% people going long, 10% people going short. So if the stock has only a new amount of shares to trade and the more and more people get into it, so most of it are, will be long. And if the stock is gaining volume and uptrending, more and more people is going to get into the long side and uh, shorts will get overwhelmed. That's why crowded trades always are benefit for long. So if you see a ticker that doesn't really have warrants and uh, have a solid news and uh, it's on uptrend, uh, just broke out the consolidation area. You can really, really take the opportunity to take a partial long in there. And especially on really low flow stocks, they, if it gets crowded, they spike for the first an hour or two and pull back in the afternoon if they decide to either dump or do an offering. But in the morning, I think it's reliable that the stock is going to at least spike for at least 20 to 30 percent so you can gain that little bit of range out there so going long and short people thinking okay well if you are short you can lose over 100 percent your position if you are going long you won't be able to lose over 100 percent of your entire investment but who will let that 100 percent just don't cut your losses and let the stock go against you for another 100 percent and it's all about the risk management, either short and long. And if either you want to go long bias or you want to go short bias, it's much better to learn on the both sides. You can know what short sellers are thinking will benefit you to get a better entry. If you are short sellers, you can get, uh, if you are trying to learn people who are going long, you can get their mindset to where, what kind of price will hit will cause the long buyers to start panic. So always get to know on the both side and the focus on those patterns will be pretty good. That has been growing my account pretty stably for a while. Uh, it, first one is OTC, multi-month, multi-week breakout or multi-day. That works as well and needs to have solid volume. At least three million, four million or five million volume needs to be increasing. Second is dip buying a huge cap that if it's over billion, that's even better. Pullbacks about 30 to 50%, they typically on intraday level, and that is not on a bad news or a hold. And they will typically bounce about 20 to 30%.
and the third pattern will be crowded trade and on the third pattern you need to be sizing a lot smaller because the winning percentage is not as good as the previous two it really depends on how crowded the trades is and how big is the flow and bigger flow will be different than the micro flow if they're both crowded do some research on the crowded trades i will comment a couple tickers in the section below hope this video helps and i will see you guys uh, next video